So now we're going to go over the clams to strengthen the side rear end muscles in our hip. So basically lying on our side with our knees forward a little bit. And we want to focus on our side rear end muscles to lift up the leg like this and then lower back down. Now, if we're not able to straighten the leg slow and control down, we can rest here, lift up and then back down. If that's where you're at, that's perfectly fine. Build up the strength from there until you get to slow it and lowering down don't touch the knees together and then lifting back up and some common compensations with this is rotating the hip back to lift up the leg so we want to keep the hip still and maybe even think about pushing this hip forward a little bit as we lift up the leg so we're not rotating the hip back another compensation is to use the muscles in the front of the thigh here to try to lift up the leg instead of using the muscles on our hip on our side rear end muscles to lift the leg up that way okay so that's the basic clam now if you're not able to do this that's perfectly fine and so a step down from that, a good starting point is lying on your back and then with the knees bent and feet flat and simply bring the leg out to the side and then bring it back. Bring the leg out to the side and slow and controlled, bring it back. It'll strengthen the side rear end muscles and the inner thigh muscles as well. And then also it'll actually strengthen the hip muscles on the opposite leg as well. So you're actually working both legs at the same time because you're preventing this leg from moving. So bring the leg out to the side, keep this leg still, and then bring it back. So if you're not able to do a basic clamp, that's a more simple version of that. If you're able to do a clamp really well, you're doing 20, 30 repetitions and it's getting easier. The progression from there is bring Bring the leg back behind you and then using the side rear end muscle to lift up the leg a little bit and then back down. Make sure we're not using our trunk muscles here. We're not allowing the leg to go forward as we lift it up. We want the leg back behind us and use our hip muscles to lift the leg up and then back down. Once we're able to do that, we can lift up a little bit higher. So first just off the table in general, but then getting it even with the hip and then back down. So slow and controlled, don't rest it and then go back up. So that progression. And then from there, we lift up the leg higher and higher. Don't let the leg rotate back like that. Keeping the hip forward and bring the leg up and down and ideally even rotating the toes down like that. That's going to strengthen and activate the side rear end muscle the most, the medius and glute minimus right here to lift up the leg. Right, so this is a side stepping exercise that focuses on the side rear end muscle. So simply step to the side and then follow with the other leg. If you're a fall risk, this may not be appropriate for you at all. So make sure that you're not a fall risk if you're going to do this exercise, but it's very effective for strengthening the side rear end muscles in order to provide stability to the pelvis. So the key here is the feet pointed straight ahead and then step to the side and have the other leg follow. Don't bring the feet too close. Make sure that we step and then keep the feet about shoulder width apart and then go in the opposite direction and focus on using the hip to move the leg rather than another part of our leg. Use the hip muscles here to step to the side and then follow. Don't hike up the hip like this. This is another compensation that tends to happen. We don't need to step real far out like that. We just need to step a little ways and then follow. So side stepping in and of itself for a lot of people is really going to activate the hip muscles if done properly and you'll really feel the burn as you do this.